Hi guys and welcome back, this is Angle. be showing you how to make these slutty biscoff brownies, let's begin. To get started on the recipe you'll want to make the cookie dough layer, so to do that grab yourself a large mixing bowl and place it in your butter, your granulated white sugar and your brown sugar and beat them all together until they are lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. For me this takes between 5 and 7 You can then go ahead and add in your egg and mix this in until it's fully incorporated, followed by your vanilla and just mix this in until it's fully incorporated. Once everything is incorporated, you can then go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down. This is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on, so make sure you get to the very bottom of the bowl as sometimes they don't fully incorporate right there at the bottom. Now you can go ahead and add in your plain flour, followed by the chocolate chips and then the Biscoff biscuits which have been roughly broken up and just fold everything in until the dough starts to form, being careful not to over mix the mixture as that would make the texture of the cookie very tough and that's not what you are looking for. So to make the brownie layer that goes on top, you'll want to start by melting your butter. Feel free to place this into a microwavable dish and place it into a microwave or place it over a saucepan of simmering water or even just in the saucepan, doesn't matter how you melt it, just get your butter melted and transfer into a larger mixing bowl. Then you can go ahead and add in your cocoa powder and whisk this in until it's fully incorporated. You will notice it goes from quite a, a runny mixture to become quite a thick and smooth glossy mixture. This is what you're looking for, so just keep whisking until it's fully incorporated. You can then go ahead and add in all of the sugar and whisk this in until it's fully incorporated. You may find that the mixture changes in consistency and this is completely normal due to the amount of sugar that is added and it will become much more granular. But don't worry, we can alleviate that. Once you add both of your eggs in and whisk them in, you'll notice that the consistency changes. Then you can go ahead and add in the flour, the chocolate chips, and the roughly broken up Biscoff biscuits. Feel free to use the biscuits with a filling, but I prefer to use just the plain biscuits. And fold everything together until you have a smooth batter. That's what you're looking for. Don't try to take it any further. Then you can go ahead and grab your cake tin, which is a 9 by 9 inch square tin that has been lined with some parchment paper and place in all of the cookie dough. Smooth and level that out as best as you possibly can. This is probably the most important is if it's not even, your brownie and cookie ratio will be completely off, which is not ideal for this recipe. It's not very easy to get as smooth, but as long as you've got a level layer or as level as possible, you're good to go. Then on top of that, you can go ahead and place your Biscoff biscuits. I'm using a mixture of the filled cream biscuits, so I'm using vanilla and Biscoff, but feel free to use whichever you can get your hands on. These are available at most supermarkets here in the UK. You can then go ahead and place your brownie batter directly on top of all of the biscuits that are on top of the cookie dough base, and you'll want to get as much of that brownie batter out of the bowl as possible, then just smooth and level it off as best as you possibly can. I'm using a small offset palette knife, but feel free to use whatever you can get your hands on. Once you've got it all smooth or as smooth as possible, you can then go ahead and take dollops of your Biscoff spread that has been warmed and then just dollop it on top in random formations and just take a palette knife and swirl it through. You may not find this as easy due to the brainy better having so much filling, but you can still swirl it around even if it's just on the surface layer and it doesn't go deep down. Then on top, I like to place nine biscuits. I'm using a mixture of the cream filled which are the vanilla and Biscoff and then just some plain Biscoff biscuits to add in some difference but you can really do what you want to. Place them on top then bake it off in the oven. I will leave all the baking times, temperatures and everything else you need in the blog post which you can find linked down below. So once your brownies have been baked you can then go ahead and allow them to cool. Place them in the fridge and this will make them easier to slice and make them denser and fudgier which is perfect. Once you're ready, you can then cut your brownies up. You can cut them up into however many portions you like, but I went with nine very generous portions. You could probably cut these in half and still have a generous portion, but then why not? It's Christmas, enjoy yourself. So here is what it looks like. You've got the layer of cookie dough, the layer of Biscoff biscuits, and then the brownie, which all work really well together. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more from me, and I'll be back again soon with another recipe to join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description. There'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog, and a link to all the social media. So don't forget to go and follow me over on there, as I am trying to be a little bit more active during the month of December.